Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. This video is by request. I recently released a video looking at Spider-Man from the 90s, specifically Todd McFarlane's Spider-Man from the 90s. And there were several people that commented on that video or sent me messages saying, hey, what about Todd McFarlane's amazing Spider-Man run? And I wanted to do that video. What I realized in looking at my collection is that I don't have enough of Todd McFarlane's amazing Spider-Man books to actually do a decent video. I'm trying to buy more of those books to actually complete that run a little bit better to be able to do a video, but also because I want those books. But in lieu of doing Todd McFarlane, what I decided to do was to actually feature one of my favorite artists and possibly one of my favorite Spider-Man artists, Mark Bagley. This is, this is my guy from the 90s. Uh, yes, Todd McFarlane is great, Eric Larson's run on Spider-Man, solid, and maybe I'll feature that one as well. But, but Mark Bagley, I absolutely love this guy. And, and what makes it even more special is that at some point in my childhood, I met Mark Bagley because I have several Amazing Spider-Man books that are actually signed by him. Now, the unfortunate thing is I cannot remember actually meeting him, but I know that I did because these are my books from the rack back in the day, and I know that I got these books signed by him. Uh, I don't know why I can't remember it, I just don't. But anyway, this edition of Random Run is dedicated to Mark Bagley's Amazing Spider-Man. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. All right, let's go ahead and get this edition of Random Run started off right with some Amazing Spider-Man. Here is 351. Uh, and this is an awesome cover directly from my childhood. Uh, this one is a newsstand edition that is actually signed by Mark Bagley. Now what's crazy about this is I actually don't remember getting this signed by Mark Bagley, but I know that I had it signed uh, because these books have literally been in my collection since the moment that they came off the shelf. Here is uh, 352, probably my favorite cover of the entire run of Mark Bagley. This is for me, it's just an iconic uh, cover. That blue background uh, with Nova back there and Spidey kind of popping off the screen. And of course, with this amazing uh, silver signature off to the left-hand side. Just for me, that is my favorite Mark Bagley cover. Here is uh, 353, uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Again, this is a, a book that was signed by him from my childhood newsstand edition. Of course, it features such amazing characters as Dark Hawk. And uh, of course, Punisher back in the day was just about everywhere with uh, crossover appearances. Here is 354. This one actually isn't signed, unfortunately, but uh, Nova makes an appearance and we also have uh, some Night Thrasher action going on. Here is 355, Night Thrasher and Moon Knight and Punisher are back. And uh, another really great cover from, from Bagley. You start to see a theme here as we look at 356. A lot of guest appearances um, and uh, guest starring from other characters. He continues here in 357. Nova is, is of course back. Does he do anything else besides blast off? Does he ever stand still? I don't know. So there we go. And uh, here's another really cool cover, 358. Uh, the, what's interesting is you'll notice as we go through these, Bagley actually uh, modifies his signature. He goes from Bagley to Bags at various points uh, over the course of his time on the title. Here's 359, some cardiac action there. I don't think that I've seen Cardiac in, in, in recent years, but uh, he was definitely popular for, for a while here in um, Amazing Spider-Man. Here is uh, 360, again featuring uh, Cardiac. Set these off to the side here, and uh, we will bust out this one. Here is Amazing Spider-Man, the first appearance of Carnage. This is a newsstand. This is, of course, Amazing Spider-Man 361. I think I have four copies of, uh, of this particular one, a couple of newsstands and a couple of direct edition. Here's another really, really great cover. Uh, this is 362. I really like how he draws uh, Carnage and Venom here. Uh, not so much in a couple of issues, as I'll, I'll probably point out. Here is uh, 363, still using the, uh, the Bagley name down there. It's the conclusion of the 
the Carnage story arc. Fast forward a couple of issues to uh, 366. Really cool cover there. Here is 367. And you can see he actually uh, starts to transition here to using bags. Bags 92. Here is 368. Cool cover there. Here is 369. And I really dig how he drew Electro. I am definitely a fan of, uh, of that version of him. And uh, I'm also a fan of, of this book here. Here is uh, 370. I really like how he renders uh, the Scorpion. Definitely dig, dig that. Here's 371, little spire, Spider Slayer action here. Crisis for Spidey's parents. Here is 372, more uh, Spider Slayer action. Set these off to the side here. And we'll come back with 373. Definitely a really cool cover there. I, I dig this cover. Here is uh, 374, little Venom action. Again, I, I dig how he uh, renders Venom here. A little less here as we go to 375. I do like the foil cover, which is very reminiscent of the 90s. It's a giant size, 30th anniversary of Amazing Spider-Man. Definitely some, some uh, iconic stuff going on there, but I'm, I'm not a fan of how he drew uh, Venom on that one. Here is 376. Love that Spidey down there in the corner. Here's 377. Cardiac is back. I definitely dig how he draws him there. Uh, here is 378. Gorgeous looking cover. If only he had drew these characters a little bit better. I like the, uh, the color burst that happens in the middle there with the yellows. I'm just not a fan of how he, he rendered uh, the two characters that are so prominently displayed. Unlike here, when we go to uh, 382, I am a big fan of how he kind of renders uh, Incredible Hulk there and, and has uh, Spidey in the, in the foreground. I dig that. Also how they are busting through the, uh, the trade dress here. Fast forward a little bit to 395. This next series of books are ones that are not for my childhood. These are actually books that I picked up as, uh, as part of a collection that I acquired um, several months ago. Here is 396. Here is 397. 398, actually have not read many of these books. Uh, again, these are ones that I picked up not that long ago and just have not gotten around to uh, to reading them. Here is 399. I'm not quite sure how long uh, Mark Bagley was actually on the Amazing Spider-Man title, but I feel like he had an incredible run. Here is uh, 401. There are a couple of books, especially in the early part from the 90s that I'm actually missing from this run. I hope to actually be able to pick those books up because Mark Bagley for me, is a fantastic artist. He is my favorite character, my, my favorite artist for Amazing Spider-Man uh, for, for lots of different reasons. But I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this edition of Random Run featuring Mark Bagley's Amazing Spider-Man. Thanks for watching.